Hi there, I'm making a corner table. If you haven't seen me make this base yet, you might want to check that out first. In this video, we're going to get it done with the top, a drawer, a little secret drawer behind the main drawer, and then the finish. The top is going to be made from these boards, but they have this uh, sort of lip on both sides. They're made to be overlapping like that. I have to rip that off to get the full uh, thickness that I need. I made a full-size drawing on a piece of plywood of the top. I'm not going to cut this out, so that's why I don't care. There's a bit missing there, but it's just to help me figure out how long each board is going to be. I'm going to arrange them in a sort of a radiating pattern so that all the grain is pointing towards that corner. The length of the first one is quite simple. It needs to be that long. I will probably have to cut this piece out to know how long the next one is going to be because the length of it depends on what angle it's gonna be at. So I'll have to cut them out one by one and measure them one by one. So I'm going to start gluing up the tabletop now and it's an interesting challenge because it's all of these wedges, slices, that uh, just want to slide against each other. No matter where you put pressure, it just wants to force it apart in some direction. You really have to squeeze everything together at once from all directions and I can't come up with a way to do that. But what I could come up with is a way to glue it up one pair of slices at a time using this piece of plywood with some little dowels in it. I can put those in there and insert wedges here to almost put pressure from all sides. But of course the downside is I have to do like five or six glue ups so it's going to take a while. I think it's going to work at least. I almost forgot I have to put some packing tape down here so I don't glue my parts onto the jig. So here's the tabletop, all trimmed to size and smoothed out. This is an offcut from the legs, and I'm going to use that to inlay a walnut border all the way around here. So using this edge as a reference, I will rip off a couple of strips here that will go along these edges. This edge, however, will change a lot in uh, length as the uh, tabletop expands and contracts with the seasons. So there I am instead going to attempt to inlay walnut in the same grain direction. Hopefully if I saw that into thin pieces I can bend that around this curve and I will have inlay that moves at the same rate as the tabletop.
I made a quick Paul Sellers style poor man's router. Right, so these parts are almost at their final shape. Just need to refine the curve a little bit with my finer spoke shave. I will do that after the glue up, which is what it's time for now. Because of the shape of this tabletop, there's just no way it's going to be possible to put clamping pressure. This side will be against the wall, so I'm just going to pre-drill for like three or four nails here and use that to hold it together when it dries. I'm not putting any glue in this miter because the table will expand and contract like a fan this way, being uh, all the grain being oriented radially, which means that seasonally this miter might need to open up just a little bit. It shouldn't even be uh, noticeable.
So now it's time to start putting the drawer together. I have a couple of pieces that will be the sides here. They are birch. I didn't uh, film when I dimensioned them because there's enough sewing and planing in this video already. Got another piece of birch for the back that needs to be uh, cut to length. And uh, this needs to also be sized down in height a little bit. So my drawer sides fit the case in terms of height and now they need to be joined with a half lap dog tail to the front. I have set up a block here that will hold the piece at the right angle. I did a test piece to see if the angle is correct. It was a little little bit low but I found that by placing my ruler here that will lift up the piece another like half a degree or so. Gotta get the right side against the fence. I'm referencing everything off the bottom. So I should be able to just hold it there and plane this until I reach the corner. And before I take that too far, I'm just going to double check. Yep, that's the angle that I want. So that's the first piece done, that will slide in that way. This line right here marks the final thickness of this piece after shaping the curve to the front. So I will have to allow that plus a few millimeters for the end lap in front of the tails. So I think I will put the baseline for my dovetails right there. Now, you can't use a marking gauge against an angled end like that. So I have to bring the line around using the square and the bevel gauge. I'm pretty happy with this side. I think it looks quite good. This side was extremely difficult because all cuts are against the grain and I did end up with some gaps here that I have to fill with slivers of wood after after the glue up. But it does hold it together so I think there should be enough glue surface at least to, to make strong joints. Now I have measured how deep the drawer needs to be and I'm going to mark and cut the sides to length.
So the fit is not exactly the way I want it. It's 90% there, but I'm going to install the door bottom before I take the last few shavings and get that exact fit. I decided to stain the door bottom red just to make it a little bit more fun to open the drawer. This is that same cherry stain that I used on the tool chest, the beach tool chest. Going to dilute it a little bit less this time, go for a more strong red tone. Now, this being a plywood bottom, I could actually put glue all the way around. I think I'm going to do it the traditional way anyway, with just glue along the front. Just so I have less squeeze out on the inside to clean up. And I'm going to fasten it uh, to the back as well, of course. The secret drawer will be made from offcuts, birch again for the sides, and whatever this is from the tabletop for the front and back. I am having my doubts about the actual usability of something like this, but it's more for the novelty factor anyway. So let's glue it up. I'm going to make the drawer pull from oak and uh, I'm going to start by making this piece a bit more round.
All right, the top is attached. Everything is nice and smooth and I cannot wait to see what this is going to look like with some finish on it. I'll be using this Osmo hard wax oil, a couple of coats of that and then if it doesn't have the shine I'm looking for I will also buff it with some beeswax afterwards. I did two coats of that Osmo. I think it looks really good, but I'm going to do a beeswax polish. There is something a little bit plasticky about the quality of the Osmo oil actually, which is weird because it is a fully natural finish, but yeah, I think the beeswax is going to make this even smoother. And there we have it. I think it looks pretty good. The drawer works quite nicely. The little secret drawer. And it has the shine and the smoothness to the touch. This was a very challenging project and by far the most complicated I have done uh, but very rewarding uh, so many new things I got to try out and I'm really grateful to my uh, buyer for letting me do so much out of my comfort zone and giving me so much freedom with a design that is going to be quite rare I think among customers in my future as a furniture maker now I'm going to take the piece outside and take some photos in natural light so I'll be ending the video with a few of those. Thank you for watching. I hope it was enjoyable. Please feel free to let me know what you think. And uh, I'll see you soon. Bye.